Hey guys, did you catch last episode? We actually have our whole family living on board right now. Absolutely love living on board Tangaroa. The kids, eh, they're getting used to it. Hi everyone, we're the Carmina family from Victoria, BC, Canada. Last year, we decided it would be a great idea to move on to a boat, but not just any boat. We found a 1969 Stevens Brothers aluminum boat that needed a lot, and I mean a lot of love. Of course, we decided it'd be fun to make all the repairs and do the refit ourselves. After 19 years of marriage, this may be the end of us. Join us on our adventures cruise in the Pacific Northwest and getting Tango Rotor ready for a massive trip around the world. Welcome on board Tango Rotor. We are going somewhere new. This is Portland Island. So Portland Island is a marine park, lots of history with the Kanaka and the Hawaiian um, settlers, let's say that. So you've seen a video about Russell, now we're going to Portland, which is just across the waterway from Russell. And the Hawaiian settlers did a lot of trading back and forth. But this is Portland Island. In the fall when you come back here, and we will come back, there's beautiful orchards and everything that are planted. You can do some picking. It's just absolutely stunning place. So we're just gonna tuck in here for the night. We're arriving pretty late, it's nine o'clock at night. Um, we're gonna do a little bit of exploring, but tomorrow we are going to the Blue Water Cruising Meetup at Port Browning. It's just gonna be an awesome weekend. And guess what? Brian and Tina are on board also, and we got Maggie and Blake, just the four of us. So as soon as we pull in there, we're gonna cook up some prawns, have dinner, chill, and then go for a walk tomorrow. just going to be opposite Royal. We're not going to tuck into Royal because if I'm looking at it correctly, the ferries go past there and I really don't want the ferry week. So we're just going to tuck in here looking at um, time zero. There is no wind for tonight. So this is like a perfect place to be and we're all by ourselves. Check it out. This is what happens in COVID when there's no American boaters around. There's no one here. It's actually kind of nice. When we found the perfect stop and Blaine gave me the signal, it was time to put the anchor down. It went down easily. And then, we had problems. It's not going out. Well, I think we, uh, we were a bit, uh, a bit, we pulled forward a bit over it, so... Happened. So the chain, where we've got on the boat, is the construction of the boat there's the the sides of the boat the hull and there's some stringers that come down and then there's a stem i don't know what they call it stem stringer that goes right down the middle the chain had fallen down inside of that and there was a through bolt that somebody had put in and the chain had perfectly locked itself get out right in between that bolt and the not gonna do that again you know, no so my hands are a little bit dirty from yeah. wrestling chain and the the chain locker. Okay, we're gonna take the dog on shore, take her for a pee. And That's yeah. It always amazes us at the boats we find when we go into different harbors. This kayak was amazing. I can't believe the guy was going all around the islands in just this. Oh well, Maggie, you peed, you pooed, you all good? You happy dog? Happy dog. Good morning! from Princess Margaret Island, also known as, where the heck are we? Portland Island. I keep forgetting what this island's called. Ones on Wallace were not gentle. Before our hike commenced, we needed a quick stop at the loo. Gender neutral. That's true. 
there was a, a men's and women's bathroom. They have that at Todd Inlet too. I'm yeah. like, why are they doing men and women outhouses? It's an outhouse. I grew up with an outhouse. It's pretty gender neutral. The men's, the men's outhouse has a urinal. No, it doesn't. It does not. And this is how our conversation goes. Why do outhouses specify men or women? Going straight. So we've already rocked point two kilometers. Whoa. Wow. I don't wanna stay here no. Ain't gonna keep it low now. If you wanna go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just gotta not survive. I think this is a composting toilet, which is why it's so high. So you've got sawdust here, and I think you just put the saw, sawdust in there after. Hmm. What this place needs is a really big hotel. 1927 retired soldier and businessman Frank Sutton might have said just that. He bought the sign with big plans for development. If he had been successful, I wonder what Portland would look like today. I have to say we're glad he didn't succeed. Portland Island is a stunning park. I have to say I do like Portland. Like, it is a beautiful island with some amazing hiking trails. If you like to hike and walk, it's not that far. We thought it would be. I think we're doing about a three kilometer walk today but it's beautiful they've done a really good job in these marine parks so highly recommend coming to Queen Market Island or Portland it's beautiful and trails are well kept it's just a nice place though I would um, anchor in Princess Cove not Royal because if you want to get rocked and like I mean rocked because the ferry wake is big Can you guess what Tina and Brian had found? That's cool. Yep, one of the many eagles found around here. Why would it not be? He's always there for you. I keep living alone. So it's raining, which we seriously haven't had rain in like three months and we've had the hatch off into our master stateroom for about three months. So, <laughs> we're on our way into Dinghy Ride, Blaine goes, looks like rain, maybe I should uh, put the hatch on. I'm like, it's not gonna rain, we haven't had rain here forever. Guess what? It's raining. <laughs> I just said, hey Blaine, hey Blaine, you should have put the hatch on. a swing and you know what that means when you find a swing you got a swing you got a swing 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 swing
Swinging used to be so much easier in my younger years. And I found this. I think it's a flint of some sort. Oh, and a dead crab. neat thing we found out about Princess Margaret Island, where we are, is there's no grazers here. There's no black sheep deer. There's a lot of mosquitoes though, but there's no black sheep deer, or black sheep, black sheep deer, no black tailed deer, um, and no feral sheep. There was, but they removed them all in the 1980s. And because there's no grazers here, all these rare and common plants are just thriving. And there's actually, what'd you say, there's more songbirds here than on Sydney Island because it's just a mature forest that has allowed to grow. And after our wonderful hike on Portland, also known as Princess Margaret, it was time to head off to our next anchorage, Port Browning. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the glimpse we gave you of Portland Island, also known as Princess Margaret Island. Join us next time as we head off to Port Browning to meet up with the Blue Water Cruising Club.